get ready for it because here comes the make code minute 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 uh, so make code minute today I want to show sort of two things and uh, I, I wasn't aware that this console simulator was working so the first thing I want to show you has to do with the console simulator this is available in make code when I click on the console section in the advanced categories so open up advanced click on console and then you just get these two options to log things, either text or a number, into the console. So I'm going to choose this log a value of x. And just to demo it, I'm going to throw that into my forever loop. So now it's going to uh, bring up this show console simulator. I believe this was working in the uh, standalone executable on Windows only for a while. I never got it working on Mac until just this morning. Uh, or I was doing something wrong this whole time. But here it is. If I click on Show Simulator, I get a console, like a serial output down here at the bottom, which says X is zero. Uh, I believe this is ticks running by of the, of the program. And then I also have a graph. Uh, if I head back here and let's just change the value. Let's just say make that five and show this. Uh, it's now gone up to five. I think it restarted the graph. So what we're going to do is use this console as a way to uh, look at this concept of incrementing or de-incrementing, if that's the right word for it, a value. And it's going to tie into the project today. So um, what I want to do is actually create a variable. Uh, and we'll just call this my foo. So I'm going to take a copy of set my foo and a copy of my foo. And now I'm going to map whatever the value of my foo is to that console. Um, I'm going to start off with it just for safety, actually having a value so nothing crashes or gets weird. Um, so I'm going to duplicate this and say, let's initially set the value of foo to, how about, one. Now what I want to do is use a couple of button inputs to either increase or decrease the value of foo. So let's uh, duplicate this to be a button B click. So now I have button A and button B. Right now they do the same thing. They set the value of foo to zero. Uh, let's do a, a quick and easy version. We'll say left button goes to five and right button goes to 10. Okay, so let's simulate that. And now uh, you can see it started off at 1. And then if I click on the A button in the simulated Circuit Playground Express here, the value just jumped up to 5. And so you see the graph step up from 1 to 5. Click it again, and it jumped to 10 and back down to 5 and so on. So you can see the numbers are printing down here, and the graph is graphing, which is really cool and very helpful. And one of the reasons I'm excited about this is it allow, I think, uh, easier instrumentation of sensors. If you want to look at a value of a capacitive touch, what, what's the raw values that are coming out? This is the way you can, you can do that easily. Uh, I hope that works. I haven't tried that yet. Okay, so I've lost my make code window. Where'd you go? So now um, I want to use my buttons to increment those values up and down. And so the way I'm going to do that is create a little bit of math uh, node here. So I'm going to, in the math section, grab a 0 plus 0 and drop that into each of the existing button nodes. So I'm going to set my foo to be equal to what the left button will do is it'll be equal to foo itself minus some value. So that'll be the button that drops, let's say, your volume down or some number down. And the right button will use a plus to go up. So uh, I'm going to go back to variables, grab a my foo variable, and I'm going to duplicate that. So when this program launches, um, the value is 1. Foo is set to 1. So if I click A, I'm going to say set the value of foo to whatever it currently is minus, and I'll just put 1. Then in the B button, in the case of the B button, I'm going to do the same thing, set my foo to be whatever my foo used to be, plus 1. Okay, so let's simulate that now, see if I got that right. 
And now I'm going to click in the virtual A button and you can see I'm subtracting one every time I press that. You can see my nice graph there showing me. If I click it faster, we get a denser curve. If I click it slowly, change the shape of that curve just for fun. And then the right button adds to it. So that, in and of itself, is a really powerful piece of a uh, little bit of code to be able to do in using the Circuit Playground Express as an interface for things if you're using it to increase or decrease brightness values on your NeoPixels or uh, change the pitch on a uh, musical note coming out of the speaker or whatever you want. Uh, being able to just take a number and add to it or subtract to it in that simple way, you'll use it all over the place. So that is the Make Code Minute.